Now, Boeing 737 MAX is once again under intense scrutiny. Aviation regulators from around the world are meeting in Texas to discuss fixes for the model, which has been grounded, if you remember, since March. This follows two deadly crashes. Now, the American regulator says there is no timetable yet for the jet's return to service, and the Federal Aviation Authority's acting administrators told CNN there have been delays in Boeing's software fix for the 737 MAX. Drew Griffin joins us now from that meeting in Fort Worth, Texas. So, Drew, we've got 30 or so international regulators meeting, uh, but the acting head of the FAA says it could take longer to take the jets off the ground. So, what are you hearing? Well, the biggest question is when will Boeing actually present what it wants to the FAA to convince uh, this body to recertify the 737 MAX? And Issa, that has not happened yet, although Boeing has tried. Uh, Boeing thought mm. it had a fix back in March, but an internal review sent that back uh, for another review that took three or four weeks. And then what we're learning is, uh, although Boeing said that it had a software fix ready last week, we talked to the acting administrator of the FAA just this morning. He explained that mm. apparently it wasn't ready. Here's how he explains how this back and forth is going between the, the airline maker and the uh, U.S. Uh, aviation uh, authority here. Boeing put out a release last week saying, I don't want to say the fix is in, the software fix is complete, we're going to deliver this to the FAA. Mm -hmm. That kind of faded in the wind. Did FAA push back on that and 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 say no? This is not ready. It's a normal process. Uh, we so the do, answer is yes, though. We well, Boeing gives us information. We review it. We give it back with more things we need or when they don't get it exactly right. And we're talking about hundreds of pages of technical data on a software uh, update that they're doing. So it's very normal for there to be a back and forth. Issa, because of that normal back and forth that uh, Daniel Elwell talks about, once the Boeing package is delivered here, you can expect fairly quickly from the FAA to approve that 737 MAX to fly again within the United States. But the big question is, what about the rest of the globe? That's what the meeting in here is about, trying to set up the parameters from the rest of the world as to what the FAA is going to do to recertify this plane ask questions from the other global aviation administrations what they want to see and then i think you will see a ripple down process for each of these organizations to decide on its own whether or not this troubled plane flies again and when it flies again but right now we're dealing with a who knows when this is going to happen because the actual software package has not been formally delivered from boeing Lisa? Yeah, and like you clearly state, I'm sure other international aviation authorities will want to do their own checks rather than just take the FAA's word for it. But Drew, I was reading some uh, heated exchanges and some of the pilots coming out uh, really doubting uh, their trust, the trust in the, in, the, in the airline. What are you hearing from them? What are they telling you about flying this plane again? Absolutely. And they're... Yes, they're saying it on the record. They really were uh, taken aback by what they found about the 737 MAX after the first crash, Isa, I talked to mm. the uh, pilots, the Allied Pilots Association yesterday. They actually met with Boeing in November. Now, this is after the first crash and explained mm. to Boeing, look, we're upset we didn't know about this MCAS, this flight system. We're upset that it only has one sensor triggering it. We're upset that it's not in the manual and explained to Boeing, you should take this plane out of service, fix it, and then put it back up in the air. Boeing insisted the plane was safe to fly. Lo and behold, months later, a second crash. That really has rattled the pilots, the flight attendants, and yeah. quite frankly, the flying public. So even, even when this recertification happens, Boeing still has a big problem on its hand. It knows it's got airlines across the globe with pilots that are going to be very leery about trusting yeah. Boeing anymore.